history, and our Sean Robinson joins us with big Supremes news, Sean. That's right, Pat, and I know that you are a big Supremes fan, too. Now, back in the 60s, they had 25 top 40 hits and millions of fans worldwide. Today, they are talking about a reunion, and talking in general is something many people believe Diana Ross and Mary Wilson would never do again. The return of the Supremes, today's Inside Story. That is the question fans of the Supremes have been asking since Diana Ross abandoned the legendary girl group 30 years ago. But now, one of its founding members, Mary Wilson, told me a reunion is definitely in the works. What really got the ball rolling on that? Actually, it was Diane. Really? I was very, very, very surprised. It was Diane's idea to uh, want to re reunite the Supremes. Mm -hmm. uh, I should say Diana Ross and the Supremes. When is this concert going to happen? <laughs> No, <laughs> I cannot tell you when because we are still negotiating, so I really can't say that. I have heard <laughs> that perhaps it'll be this summer. Uh, if, 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 if we can negotiate all of the deals, my deal, Cindy's deal, and Diane's deal, I believe Diane's deal is already done. Um, she did her own deal. <laughs> uh, I, it will happen this summer. This reunion comes after decades of a much talked about feud between Mary and Diana Ross. The catalyst, Mary told me, was the breakup, the press, and financial matters. Yes, there was a time we were not speaking because of that. But it wasn't because of her not liking me and I not liking her. You know, it was just that we were sort of in that. I was a Supreme, she was Diana Ross, <laughs> you know. It's like a family kind of thing, you know, you have cousins that you don't speak for a while, you know, but I mean, when, 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 when you really need them, you know, they're there. When my son died, uh, Diane was one of the first persons that called. Oh, she wants me. Okay, she wants me. <laughs> Mary, who has two surviving children as well as grandchildren, performed with the Supremes in clubs and theaters long after Diana embarked on a superstar solo career. So to her, a reunion would be a dream come true. This is something that I have dreamt of for many, many years. I've kept the Supremes legacy alive. I have been the one who, who has nurtured the Supremes uh, legacy. And so it's something that I really want to happen. And I never bother with people like it. One thing that has been decided is if the 30 City Tour does take place this June, it will be billed as Diana Ross and the Supremes. Someone was saying to me, well, you know, is that going to be okay? Yeah. Hey, hey, I sang the background. I was in the background. I, you know, I was the best background singer I know. I was a star in the background. So I did all the oohs and the ahs and the baby babies, you know. Ooh, you know. So if that, that's what I will be doing, and that is fine with me. And, and if Diana Ross and the Supremes are together, that's fine with me. Because that's what it was when Diane left, and that's what it should be now. A lot of people will be just be glad that... They are back. Now, if the reunion takes place, the third Supreme in the comeback could be Cindy Birdsong. She joined the girl group after original Supreme Florence Ballard left in 1967. Pat.